in this video, I'll be showing you all the best Streamlabs OBS audio settings. Let's get right into it. The first step you're going to want to do is obviously add your audio sources. So in Streamlabs OBS, go to the bottom left corner and click on a gear icon. And then under desktop audio one, you're just going to add your headphones. I would recommend adding your headphones just so you know what your audience is listening to. And then under microphone device one, you're just going to add whatever microphone you have. So for me, it's going to be the focus rate. Once you have both of those added, you're just going to click on done and then we'll move on. So now once you have both your audios added, as you can see, it pops up under the mixer we're going to add a few filters to your microphone to make it better quality so you're just going to click on the gear icon next to your microphone and then go up to filters and then just click on edit filters once you're on this screen you're just going to click on add filters and the first filter type we're going to add is the noise suppression what noise suppression does is that it helps get rid of any type of background noise so you can only hear yourself i wouldn't change the type of method or suppression because those are usually pretty solid presets now we're going to move on to a new filter so you're just going to click on add filter and now we're going to add a limiter what a limiter does is that if you're screaming or something along those lines it's going to cut out the audio instead of your audience having to listen to it once again for streamlabs presets i would just leave it as that since those are pretty solid choices and then we're going to move on to the last filter which is going to be gain for the gain you are going to need to adjust this i would recommend just speaking normally as like you are to your chat and you're going to want to watch your mixer while you're increasing your gain I would recommend setting your microphone to around the middle of the yellow just so your chat can hear you more rather than the game or any of your friends. So for me, I'm only going to increase my gain by two. So now once you have all your audio set up and all the filters added, the most important step is to get a microphone stand. If you leave your microphone near a keyboard, you're obviously going to hear that. If you have it at a distance, it's going to create an echo. So I would definitely get some type of microphone stand. Other than that, you're pretty much good to go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe down below. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace out.